Hey guys, welcome back. So this is video 21. Now we're gonna get back into our old infrastructure and we're gonna be installing WSUS on our Windows Server 2022. So there's gonna be a few steps that we're gonna be going through. We're gonna be go, uh, going over creating a new OU in our domain controller so we can put the server that we wanna apply these updates to. We're gonna go ahead and install the WSUS role on Windows Server 2022, which is called Win, uh, Win, 20, Win 2022 WSUS. I already built that out and it's just like building another server. We're going to go through the, the setting up process, but I just built out a new member server, joined it to the domain, um, and that's all I did. Added an IP address, and you guys should know how to do all that by now. Right. And then we're going to go ahead and create a group policy on our DC, and then we're going to link it to the Domain, excuse me, link it to the OU that's that's uh, going to be sending out the updates to our file server in our case for the demo. And then we're going to go ahead and test it, make sure all of our updates work properly and, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump first. Let's go ahead and jump onto our WSUS server. Where is that one? That's here. Let's open up, as you can see here. You can see uh, Win 2022 WSUS, it's joined to my domain. I gave it the IP address of 192.168.199.105. And yeah, so I didn't wanna bore you guys by setting all that stuff up. And you guys should know how to do that by now. We set up multiple servers. So what we're gonna do is add the role, right? So let's go ahead and hit next, next, next. So we come all the way down here, we have Windows Server Update Services. We have that, we can go ahead and add features. Hit next, next, next. And we're gonna only do, uh, we're gonna leave these services running. Uh, WID Connectivity and WSUS Services should be good there. Hit next. Where So this is where we're gonna be storing the, the local or remote, however you wanna, wherever you wanna put it, the updates. So I did create just for the sake of time. So on my Windows uh, C drive, we can see Windows updates. So we can open that. There's nothing there yet. Let's go ahead and copy this. What you can do if you have a lot of room in the real world, you'll probably put this, put this on a different partition. You may not want to put your updates on the same partition as your server, but this is testing learning, teaching, et cetera. So we can just put it on this for now. Okay, go ahead and hit next. Go ahead and hit next and install. So we'll let this do its thing. While this is going through the install, what we're gonna do is jump onto the domain controller. And then what we're gonna have to do is set up a group policy for this new configuration. So while that's doing its thing, so we don't waste any time, let's jump onto the domain controller. Come over here, we're gonna open up uh, Active Directory, users of computers. So here we have servers, and I did make a new OU for WSUS testing servers, and we're gonna be using our uh, file server, in our case, uh, win22-fs01. This is gonna be our target machine that we're gonna be applying these updates to, okay? Let's go ahead and open up group policy. Let's go ahead and group policy objects, go ahead and create a new group policy. And I'm just gonna name this WSUS uh, GPO, okay? That's fine with me. And let's go ahead and edit this. Right click, we're gonna edit, <coughs> excuse me. So when we have this open, we can go ahead and go to computer configs. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, policies. It's an under administrative templates. Then we can go ahead and drop this down. And then we can go under Windows components. And Windows components, we're going to go all the way down here and we should see Windows update. See that? Windows update. And you see a whole bunch. Let's just do standard for now so we don't have to see all that other crap. So, what we need to do here, we have to configure three settings here. So, first, we're going to do is the 
going to go ahead and configure the automatic updates first. So let's double click on this. We're going to enable this. So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and leave number three. This is how I'm going to set mine up. If you want to go ahead and tinker with it, you can do a schedule, then you can, you know, every week. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine for auto download and notify for install. Okay, so we're going to apply that. And the next one we're going to do is right here. So we're going to specify an, uh, an intranet for the update service location. So let's double click on that. I'm going to go ahead and enable. So why is this big because of the of the um, settings? Let's go ahead. So the so we have to set where we want this to pull from. So our update server, in my case, is going to be. Uh, let's go back. Let me go back and and maybe jot that down. That'd probably be smart. Let's go back to WSUS. Okay, so this is done. So now we just have to launch the post uh, installation. So let's click on that. We'll go ahead and you know wait for that configure. Uh, wait while the server is configured. So we'll give that a moment. And. So my case, it's win2022-wsus. So let's go ahead, close here. That's just going to do its thing. Let's jump back to the DC. I should have wrote that down. So in my case, it's going to be HTTP. And it's going to be win2022-wsus, right? And then it's going to be dot infosec infosecpat.com okay so that's my domain and then we have to uh put in the port so by default the port is 8530 for wsus all right so let's go ahead and copy that we're going to go ahead and set the internet statistics uh, server as well as the same okay so that's all good let's hit apply okay so those two are the two that we're going to configure. And the last thing we're going to do is the detection frequency right here. And we're going to enable this. By default, it's 22 hours. I'm just going to go ahead and put two hours for the sake of time. Obviously, in the real world, you're not going to have this reach out to the server, each client, every two hours. That'll be a little crazy. All right, so I think we should be good here. Let's go ahead and X out of here. So the last thing we have to do is go to servers. And this is where we're going to link that group policy in my case. Let's go ahead and link group policy. We're going to do WSUS group GPO. Perfect. And let's just go ahead and look at the settings, make sure it all looks good for my sake. All right, so that looks good. HTTP, win 22. Okay, perfect. That all looks good. All right, so we should, we should be good there. All right, so let's go back to our WSUS server. Okay. All right, so it all looks good. Perfect. Good. Awesome. We can see it here. Let's go ahead and go to tools. WSUS. Open this bad boy up and we can configure this. I want to go ahead and make this display a little bigger for all the blind people like me. So, all right, so that's a little bigger, that's better. So now let's go ahead and click on next here. Well, I'm not, I don't care, I don't wanna join the Microsoft Update Improvement Program, not today. So we're gonna go ahead and sync uh, with Microsoft Update, in my case, because I don't have any other WSUS service to synchronize with. So I wanna go with that first option. I don't have any proxies, so we can bypass that. We can start connecting. This is going to go ahead and connect to, to Microsoft Update Services and pull down all the updates and everything that's, that's needed. So we'll give that a few moments. Okay. So now while this is going, doing its thing, I want to go ahead and go to my file server. Okay. This is the file server, I believe. Let me, let's go ahead and open up Memprom and let's do hostname. Real quick. Okay, this is my file server. So what I want to do here, uh, I want to go ahead and do a GP update. 
of course. Okay, so I want to, you know, make sure we get that, that, that group policy up to date on our file server. We want to make sure we, you know, pull that new policy that we just created, right? So now let's go ahead and do a GP result. result. And GP result slash R. Okay. Go back up. We can see. Right there, boom, we are good. This one is applied, perfecto. All right, let's go back to our WSUS server. So this is gonna go ahead and take some time. So what I wanna do at this moment, I'm gonna pause the video and resume once this is good and we can continue. All right guys, so that took about 15 minutes on my internet, but just to give you a, uh, background of how long that took. So now let's go ahead and hit next. And these are all the languages. In my case, English is what I need. That's all I need. And I want to hit next. And it's going to show us all the products. And in my case, I want to come all the way down to Windows. And then I want to do Windows Server. There's no 2022 here, so let's just go ahead and do 2019. Let me see if there's any 2022. That's fine. Uh, is it up here? I am, nope. I'm just gonna do 2019 and see what it, you know, see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit next. And this is all good for me. I want to do critical updates, definition updates, and security updates. That's all good for me. I want to do synchronization manually. That's perfectly fine with me. And I want to begin the uh, synchronization now. Let's go ahead and hit next. Finish. Now we have this installed and ready to go. Okay. So now at this point, what we can do is open up in my case, my, my server, we can see the synchronization is at 0%. And this is probably gonna take some time as well. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, but we can uh, look around really quick. And I wanna, I wanna see some options. I wanna, I wanna look at a few things. So before we cut loose. So the first thing is first, I wanna go ahead and go to options and go to computers. So computers here, we can, this is the correct, I wanna make sure everything is correctly configured. So cannot save configuration because it's synchroniza uh, synchronizing. That's fine with me. So we are gonna use the update service console. This is, so anytime a new computer is automatically detected, it's gonna be placed into the unassigned computers group, which let's go ahead and cancel that. That's gonna, it's still synchronizing, but we go to computers here, all computers, and we go to unassigned computers. My first computer, let's actually, let's go ahead and hit any here. I guess we still have to wait. That's fine. So let's go to computers, uh, updates, sorry, all updates, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and go to, I guess we have to probably wait. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything, but okay, that's fine. So. While that's doing its thing, I want to go ahead and right click on classification and I want to choose a few no, a few more options, at least for me. I want to go ahead and see needed count. So I want to see if there's any, uh, how many updates are needed. And then I want to use one more suspensive. There we go. So this is going to show us a little uh, network uh, tab or network icon or whatever you want to call it here. This is how normally I used to have it when I was a sysadmin. I'm just going by what, how I used to set it up and how I used to configure it. So we'll give this a few moments. Let's go back here. We'll resume once this is done. Let's see how long this takes. Like I said, it all depends on your, your internet, all that good stuff. So we'll give this a few moments. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. So that took quite a while in my opinion. You know, in my infrastructure here, go ahead and view this in full screen. 
So that took almost an hour, at least for me. I don't know if my internet is just bogging down or whatever. So now we can see that it's idle. So we should be good here. So now if we go to um, all, all of my all updates, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and approve some of these updates. For example, these three, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, select them all, right click, approve. And then I want to go ahead and approve into the only group I have, which is unassigned computers. Go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, perfect. So we should be good there. And now if we do status, if we go ahead and do actually approved, go to approved, any, refresh that. We should only have the ones that are approved. These are the, the ones that I have approved. And then we're gonna go ahead and install this. So let's go ahead and see if our machine is showing up here quite yet. Let's see, perfect. This is my file server that we are going to apply these updates to. So you can see that it's only one machine, okay? So now let's go back to that server. Let's go to that server, okay. Let's go ahead and X out of this, X out of this, X out of this. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. All right, so now I'm on my uh, file server. So there's a few, few things we have to do first. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a GP, GP update slash force. And then I wanna run a utility to detect the, the server, just to make sure everything is good. Even though we have it there, I just wanna do a GP update really quick. Okay, and once that's good, we should be golden. All right, so let's give that a moment. All right, so that's good here. So now let's go ahead and just do check for updates. Check for updates, check for updates here. So we're all, we're all good. We're pretty much, we're all good about, uh, for the install. Let's go back to our WSUS server. And we have the ones that are approved. So now let's go ahead and select all, and we can approve these. So now we're gonna approve for install, okay. All right, so let's refresh this. All right, so now we're good here. So now once, so, so we have it, so every hour it checks in, uh, you know, we change that on the group policy, but we can see now, let's go back to our, our client machine, in this case, our file server, we hit, Check for updates. We'll see if it's gonna pull down. We'll probably have to wait a little bit, but we can see that we are good to go. And we can see that, you know, it's the, the intranet when, uh, update service is being detected by the updates, administrator, group policy. So we are golden, we're good here. And I did restart this machine, so it probably installed a, you know, those, those updates. So let's go back really quick. What we're gonna do really quick, I can go ahead and approve some others. You know what, I'm not gonna even tinker with that. This pretty much concludes the video. So this is how you install WSUS on Windows Server 2022. It's pretty much identical um, to Windows Server 2019. And this is how you do it. Of course, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Uh, it can be annoying. I know as an admin, when I was an admin, I hated WSUS and it was always like, it was always, you know, flaking out on me, but this is how you set it up and this is how you deploy with Google policy. And this is the setup. So I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And until next time, folks, have a good one. Thank you.